And that console had the graphics to properly demonstrate the, the kind of power that FPS developers wanted. So, as a result, you get proper power showing, and this wrench is destroying me right here. They're down to four. If they can't deal with our board this turn, they're screwed. Of course! As soon as I say, if they can't deal with this board this turn, they're screwed, they have an Ugin which they get to castle and just kind of cost. Disaster for us! No! It's Samus! Kill her! Die, space pirates. <laughs> oh no, we're dead! Sorry, I'm so to break this conversation, I'm making this. Trying to fight this great show while talking about FPS controllers has proved to be too problematic. I'm actually gonna get a game over from this. What could possibly go wrong with voice acting in a Metroid game, right? The baby, the baby, and the baby, or the baby, of the baby, or the baby. Babies cry, the baby, babies cry. That's kind of thing that will happen for gamers where they hit their teenage years. You many will stop caring about kiddie games and start caring about the more adult GTAs, shooty shooty, bang bang games, and paraphrasing a bit here, but. And I did it! I really did! I finally became a gym leader! That's amazing! Now come on! Take it easy! That's the way! Uh huh! Uh huh! Can we beat the egg before? Can we beat the boost garden before? Ah, oh, we beat the thing, I think! Yes! Thank goodness for that! But. Hang on! Wasn't that one of the hardest boss battles in the game? We beat it on the first try? What? That was it? That was the Boost Guardian? We looked at a few of the bosses and made small refinements to those encounters. Wait, they nerfed him? They nerfed the Boost Guardian? Super Mario Galaxy's Spherical Worlds the concept that came out at the time. I know at the time after it was revealed, the developers of the Ratchet and Clank games and Somniac games noticed out of the fact that they were very admirable that Nintendo had copied their idea of spherical worlds that they're using Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3. Now, in an interview with the official Nintendo magazine, um, Miyamoto responded to this by saying, Really? I'm surprised. I didn't know that. In terms of the spherical worlds and anti gravity, we had the original idea, uh, idea as soon as we finished the development of Mario 64 I'd been experimenting with it for many years, even on the N64. It's not an idea we got from anywhere else. I'm sorry, but I have to admit that I have never seen the game mentioned in your question. Is it a PC game? Are you serious? That's it! I am out of here! Jump this gap and go through this door right here. Inside... We have... A nunchuck problem again! So... You can fall down into a pit it's like a doofus there. Or try shooting for a bit, but it's not... Oh wait, here we go! It's broken the lock on, so when it tries to... It's time for... Oh, motion control gimmick time! Here we go, let's pull! Twist! Push! It never works properly on screen, but it's supposed to. Are they doing the can can? What the hell? Oh, and there's a lever in front of us. You know what that means, right? It's time to pu 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 pull! Twist! Push! I'm so sorry for that. Ah, I just missed again! Ah, I'm not doing it right. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Two hours later. There! Did it! Finally! We don't want to do too much damage, I don't think, so, um... Brave Bird everything! Then it'll destroy itself like that. Is that Metroid seriously glitched on the scenery? You fail another chance of friend voucher. There's a perfect execution friend voucher. Ah, oh, we never missed it! Bubba! No! 
Apparently morph ball puzzles have been the hardest part of the game for me so far. I failed in the puzzle when trying to get into the dark world and I'm having a lot of difficulty with this thing here, but then again, I knew this was going to be a particular challenge. The same pitfall every single time. Come on. Okay, maybe um, Iron Head won't actually kill it now because of the uh, um, Iron Defense. So, yeah, they should be able to reset. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend because every video these days is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend, apart from this one, which isn't actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. Oh no! They're just gonna go away and it's so hard to take out and a coat of equipment, then what's the point of even finding these things? It's just a general nuisance. You know what that means, right? It's pumping time! Warp out! Regnal! Reptilicus! Korak! Morganar! I didn't quite do as I wanted it to. But oh well. Okay. Nerdy rant time. I know it's a video game and all, but in many of Retro's games, they often use logistical reasons as to why things the way they are. With that being said, how the hell is a lift able to go from here downwards from here? How the hell is that work? They're level the same. They should be level with each other, yet somehow a lift from here goes all the way over here. That makes no sense whatsoever. It might make sense from a game design perspective, from a logistical point of view, it is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> that always baffled me because the otherwise the uh, map design of these games has been very good, but then they added in these three lifts to make travel around so much easier. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Can we go a part with Ball Guy? Let's bring Ball Guy to the tournament. Please partner us, Ball Guy. What's that? You like to have an absolute ball battle alongside your pal, Ball Guy? Boy, that's an offer I'd love to roll with. But this is one ball that doesn't belong in battle. Dang it, you! Oh, come on, what? Did he even get to the other side? Why? How is that a reset? What? Really? Okay. Well. Come on. Just open your orb, dang it. I need to be able to shoot you. What are you laughing at? And they're going to float stone onto the Lothan Grimer. Attached to Trubbish. And they're going to use an N. No. My, my two welders have I had. Oh, bye -bye. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that sucks so much. Unfortunately, the Wii Remote batteries are right out in the middle of the boss battle. And hopefully when they use N next turn, we also have um, the ability to uh, um, attach stuff to the So we cannot have that stuff on our hands. And also, yeah, there's the N. So that's also going to get rid of our abilities. So that's going to turn off our Galarian Zigzagoon, which is... Wow. Um... I knew I should have upgraded from Windows 10, dang it. Same way, it's a one way only system. Sheesh, the title of this is really strict. I mean, it's kind of a, I mean, it's kind of semi-blind, even though I played this before. 
simply because I have a very bad memory of the pirate who. Come on! Two hours later. There we go, finally! That took forever. Kind of gets in the way. And then what we're going to do is to stop from getting an end again, we're going to use Marnie to reset their, their hands. Let's play Metroid Prime Federation Force. Okay, you said that before, okay? Dude! You lack so much enthusiasm say that! Here, this is how you're supposed to say it! Pull! Twist! Push! 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 I've got another rankle, so I think that is game. I might have said prematurely though, I don't know what they got, so I'll face it. Okay, well. Okay. Structure analysis is complete. The storage unit has been modified to transform radioactive material. Rad scans indicate the presence of phase on energy. Phase on is on this planet. Are they finding an end again? Well, they're probably, they're probably playing it as a four of, considering how it's been recycled quite a bit. Wow, that's every single turn we've had an end. There's the Claire, that's some um, kill them. Well, that was pretty easy. Perhaps they weren't being controlled by anyone, but yeah. Ship status alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing call lockdown. Crab, crab, crab. Through here, into the next room. We will do just that. So, let's speed up and play silly music as my constant attempts to try and get this friend voucher undoubtedly fail. Yes! I got it first time! Okay, so the trick is to fire your ice missile just as he's throwing it. I say the judge has so few cards, but of course they have one mind for one mana to draw two cards. Completely fair and balanced magic right there. <laughs> he just jumps off the edge. <laughs> so we're against pendulums.